living trust is a legal contract where a person who owns property, and we call that person a settlor, enters into a, an agreement with a person called a trustee, and that trustee agrees to hold the property given to them by the person we call the settlor and manage that property for the benefit of the settlor or whoever the settlor designates to receive the benefits. We call the person who receives those benefits a beneficiary. But the whole arrangement is nothing more than a contractual agreement that is enforceable by law. It gives us many advantages. It allows us to put the management of property in the hands of someone who is capable of managing it when it's no longer desirable or uh, when it's no longer possible for someone to manage the property themselves. It allows us to create a, a, an artificial person, this thing we call the trust, that does not die, does not become disabled, that allows us to avoid the probate process in the event of death, and it allows us to avoid conservatorship uh, if someone is disabled, and it allows us to create guardianships to care for the needs of minor children when they're too young to manage financial resources for themselves. Mm -hmm.